Artificial intelligence is the procedure that powers a number of the services we utilize today recommendation systems like those on Netflix, YouTube, and Spotify, search engines like Google and Baidu, social media feeds like Facebook and Twitter, voice assistants like Siri and Alexa. In all of these instances, each platform is gathering as much information about you as possible what categories you like enjoying, what links you are clicking, which statuses you are responding toned using Maker finding out to make an extremely informed guess about what you might want next. Honestly, this procedure is quite basic, find the pattern, use the pattern. However it quite much runs the world. That remains in big part thanks to a development in 1986, courtesy of Jeffrey Hinton, today understood as the dad of deep learning. Deep knowing is artificial intelligence on steroids, it uses a strategy that offers machines an enhanced capability to find and amplify even the smallest patterns. Neural networks were slightly influenced by the inner workings of the human brain. The nodes are sort of like nerve cells, and the network is sort of like the brain itself. For the researchers amongst you who are wincing at this contrast, stop waving aside the analogy. It's a good example. Closing parenthesis. However Hinton published his development paper at a time when neural nets had fallen out of style. It took nearly 30 years for the strategy to make a resurgence. And kid, did it pick up? One last thing you need to understand, device, and deep knowing is available in three tastes, monitored, without supervision, and support. In monitored knowing, the most prevalent, the information is labeled to tell the device exactly what patterns it ought to look for. That's what you're doing when you push play on a Netflix show you're informing the algorithm to discover comparable shows. In unsupervised knowing, the information has no labels. The device simply searches for whatever patterns it can discover. This resembles letting a pet odor heaps of different objects and arranging them into groups with similar smells. Thanks for watching. Please like and share with others. See description below and subscribe to get more videos.